They won the league by 18 points last year. Why do they need to strengthen that starting 11? And if you're saying they do, where? Well, me and Robbo were both at the Community Shield when Liverpool played Arsenal. Arsenal just completely set off Liverpool and allowed them to have loads of possession. And Gomez kept hold of the ball and Van Dijk kept hold of the ball. They played balls into midfield. The midfield for Liverpool on that day just passed it sideways. There was no real penetration. And I think a lot of teams are obviously going to respect Liverpool being you know, the title holders and the champions. And they're going to sit off Liverpool next season. So what you need, in my opinion, is someone like Thiago, who's got a range of pass. You know, he is a player that I've not seen for a long time play the, the game, the, 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 the way he, the central midfield players, where his range of passing is excellent. He can ping it 50 yards right side. He can ping it 60 yards left. He fires balls into number 10s and into number 9s. He's aggressive with his passing. He's very confident on the ball, very rarely gives it away. So I just think, apart from Naby Keita, I think what Liverpool have are excellent midfield players who press you know, solely to win the ball back and give it to the front three. Naby Keita changed the game in the community shield when he came on because of his running from midfield and his directness. I think they just need that something different, that, that little technician in Thiago. If they get the Thiago signing, it would then convince me they can retain their title. If they don't, I still think Guardiola does and he probably signs Koulibaly and then that leapfrogs them to maybe just be in favourites. Bravo, you agree with Don in terms of where Liverpool need the upgrades? Yes, uh, Thiago would be an excellent passer of the ball. They need more creativity. There's another way to break defences down when you've just got passes in the team. That's to have someone that can run with the ball, go past people with the ball. And they've got someone there, but they don't really use him to do that. That's uh, Oxlade-Chamberlain when he was at Arsenal. And when he's played for Liverpool on certain occasions, running at defenders, going past them, and that changes the whole defensive structure of the opposition. So they need somebody to open up defences, whether it be a passer like Thiago or to play Oxlade-Chamberlain in that sort of right-sided midfield position where he can go past people to open up defences. Manchester City, actually, Frank, is a pretty serious favourite when we look at the Premier League odds. I guess that's people assuming that Liverpool are going to have a hangover. Is that a fair assumption, or are we being too harsh when we look ahead to the coming season? Well, nobody knows what's going to happen, but it's true that I have question marks about uh, the fact that uh, Liverpool um, can be, um, you know, blasé in a way that uh, because because some players, you know, have been established for like two years. They just were born in the world of football, like uh, Alexander Arnold, Robertson, Van Dijk, uh, and 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 some other. Even Mane, Salah, and Firmino, who have absolutely fantastic players, will have to confirm again that they are top-notch players because they, it's what we want to see. And because there isn't any new players coming around to, uh, in fact see what's going to happen in the term of competition between the players. We don't know how will be the, the, the situation, the way they wanna, the players want to behave uh, in uh, facing the, new, the new, season, new season. So I'm afraid, and I hope Jurgen Klopp will prove me uh, the opposite, that, uh, that some players will never be as much as competitive that they've been uh, the last two seasons, and they will need... Uh, Sometimes some needles, you know, to, uh, to make sure they, they wake up and they, they go back to the fight like they all used to do. Hey, Don, we don't know how long this will last, but for at least a while, Liverpool will be playing without a full stadium. I've heard some people suggest that that'll hurt them more than other teams. You buying that? Uh, slightly, Seb. I think that's a good point. I think when you simplify the game and you look at the best footballing team in the Premier League without any fans inside the stadium, I think that's Man City. I think Guardiola's team play the way they play with loads of rhythm. Uh, they know each other inside out. The way they operate during a the game, they're easy on the eye. They keep possession. I think with Liverpool, I think they need the emotion of the fans. Um, I do think whenever I've been at Anfield and when I've commentated on games, you know, in the first half, if they've been behind or drawn or even leading by the odd goal, whenever they kick towards the cop end and they use their fans... I'd back them to beat anyone, and we've seen that in domestic football, and we've seen that in European football. So I buy the argument, certainly. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.